happy good morning. I hope you're doing well. A year or two ago, I jumped on the worst rated trend that was going around on YouTube. I went out and got activewear and swimwear from a bunch of different brands. They were ridiculously low rated and it was absolute chaos. Those were honestly so much fun to film. A lot of brands have made a little bit of a shift. They either don't show reviews on their website at all anymore. And then if you go into the item, it seems like only the four and five star ratings are showing. So I decided to try something new where I go to a brand's website. I pick out the weirdest pieces that just look absolutely not functional at all. And we test them out. And I thought, what better brand to start with? than good old Gymshark. One of their first designs, they went totally out of the box from any other activewear company and designed the, wait, where are they? Flex leggings. And the internet loved them. I feel like they've always just stayed true to doing their own thing, you know? But some of their own things are a bit strange. First up, what is this? Tyler, I think I got these for him. Okay, this. Wow. <laughs> wait, they're, Oh gosh, I feel like this was tried on and sent back. There are a suspicious amount of small black hairs stuck to this liner. What do I do now? <laughs> We're just gonna... This is the uh, Horizon Lifestyle Swimsuit. Um, I just, I, I can't even focus, oh my gosh. Okay, I thought this was a very weird design. Something just seems so off balance about it. I see the design in theory. You know what I actually really do love though are these straps. They're made from like an elastic and they have the embossed logo on them. That's cute, but like the body of the swimsuit is a little weird, looks a little cheap. And this is coming from someone that actually quite likes Gymshark swimwear. I got this in a medium. See, this is an almost. We almost have a really cute design here. <laughs> From here up, this is a really nice top actually. I like the material, the fit, the cut, the straps a lot. But then this is where it gets weird. <laughs> yeah, see like maybe that. See, it's close. Like I like the coverage of the bottom, kind of that like middle cheeky coverage. I don't hate this as much as I thought I would, especially for it being like a $35 swimsuit. I'll link all the stuff down below that I talk about today. Don't look at me like that. I have actually found some of my favorite pieces from my worst rated videos. <laughs> so you never know what we might end up loving. Also, huge thank you to you for watching my reviews. Because of that, I'm now on the Gymshark PR list. <laughs> so they actually sent me these wireless Powerbeat Pros. But I want to give them to you guys as a thank you. So I'm giving them away over on the IG. Make sure to go check out that post. What was this? Oh, this wasn't worst rated. I just thought it was really cute. Cute. It's the Breeze lightweight top. They're so nice. Like when you feel like just wearing something big, baggy, long sleeve to the gym, but it's so crazy lightweight. So Gymshark doesn't typically do discount codes, but I have the ultimate life hack for you. <laughs> if you haven't downloaded the Honey extension yet, it is a game changer. I've been using this for literally years. And even websites like Gymshark that are like very exclusive with their sales, I've been able to get super random discount codes that work because of Honey. Thanks Honey for partnering with me on today's video. You just install it with two clicks and then whenever you're shopping and you get to check out, it will pop up, it will scan the internet for every possible code out there and then automatically apply it to your cart. Those of you that have already downloaded Honey through my link have found over $240,000 in savings. Honey works on over 30,000 stores. Some of the other ones include Lululemon, Sephora, Nordstrom. Did I mention it's absolutely free? So I'll drop the link down below but all you have to do is go to joinhoney.com slash hope. That's joinhoney.com slash hope. This though, this trend, I thought we were gonna leave it back in 2017, but here it is. I literally have the biggest love hate with this trend because I think it's so pointless, but then I catch myself wearing these sometimes because I like want the sleeves, but then I want to show off my sports bra. Anyway, I have a few sweatshirt material versions like this one, but this is the first I've seen a company do like a legit long sleeve seamless in this cutout style. Got this one in a size small in the Jade Marl. Um, I accidentally ripped off the tag, so I gotta keep this forever now. <laughs> Is it supposed to do that? Is my whole armpit supposed to come out every time I... Is this... Is this on right? Like, it's like too short, you know? In pictures, maybe it could be kind of cute with the right matching set, but you can't lift your arms up. Um, I think this was also just, uh, yeah, it's another lightweight seamless. <laughs> they're just, they're so great, you 
guys. And then they're really cute too if you like tie them up in the front. And I thought this pink was really pretty. Yeah, these are good. Rewind sweater. Oh yeah, I kind of thought this was super ugly, but also kind of thought it was fun and like retro-y. It's like a really lightweight sweater material. Um, Not brushed on the inside. I can't tell if I hate it or not. I think I hate it. <laughs> Something about the sleeves where it cuts off, I think. The unfinished logos, it's just, it's, it's almost working for me. It's comfy though, I mean, I'll give it that. Okay, this was a set that I saw like nobody talking about that I feel like could either be super dumb <laughs> or could be a really good time. Glow in the dark party set. What is it actually called? Illumination Seamless. Um, they come in a few colors, but naturally I wanted this like lime green because hi, that's fun. I used to go to those spin classes all the time where like the lights would be out and then have a black light and a disco ball. Like how fun would something like this be for that? So I wanted to see if it actually like is cute, if it works, you know? I just like, I never saw them marketing this. I feel like there's a whole demographic of people that like party time workouts. I got a small top and yes, medium bottoms. I do a medium and pretty much all their seamless bottoms. Okay, I have a request before you come home and find me a black light. <laughs> black light. Okay, now that it's officially nighttime, it's time to party. Ta-da! We literally didn't own a lamp, I know, weird. And then we got this guy. Oh no, oh no, what have I done? How many hope scopes does it take to screw in a light bulb? A lot more than once, so that's why I had Tyler do it. It literally exploded. How am I supposed to have a black light active wear party now? Also, Gymshark just set me up with an affiliate link. They don't do like codes or discount codes or support codes or anything like that. But if you shop through the links that I have in my description box, it does help support Leo Tyler and I, which is so exciting. I wouldn't say I'm like an athlete for them. And also I'm not athletic. I'm not an athlete for anybody. One of my first Gymshark review videos that I did, they came out with a singlet. So that was fun to test out. Found that it wasn't personally for me, although it was a very good quality singlet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they've done it again. But this one, it's made from their like flex material though. What's it called? Flex all in one. That makes a lot of sense. Got it in a medium, but this is like, I could see myself wearing this one, how it's just all black. It has the cute flattering flex booty detail. The material just feels super comfy. Adjustable straps on the back and the logo. I mean, you know, this one just seems a lot more wearable. So what if you could wear this under a dress? Just kind of smooth everything out, give you some extra coverage. There is not any built-in support in this, which I find interesting. Like if you were truly gonna do something high intensity in it, you'd have to wear a sports bra under it. Gosh, I'm like, scared now. Checking the crotch on all these to make sure there's not any um, surprises. If I didn't care about what people thought of me, I would probably just run around in this all day. <laughs> like it's so freeing. Oh, it's not that squat proof. But other than that, it's honestly so comfy. I wanna know what exactly the intents and purposes of this piece is though. Perfect for all kinds of movement. Rock it on its own or use it as a base layer. Hey, that's what I was talking about, wait. See, I love this Lululemon dress, but, but it has these big slits up the side. Normally when I'm walking around in it, it literally ends up riding up to like up here. With this thing underneath, it has something to stick to. Kinda cool, kinda nifty. Ah! Okay, I posted this on my Instagram story the other day. I just thought it was too bizarre not to share. The new Soul Lift collection, they are these super cute, like hi, here's the color palette, how fun is that for summer? Everybody's just like skimmed over this minor detail. The back of the sports bras. But anybody that is tripop phobic, I feel like is, is screaming looking at this right now. <laughs> Not only do you have the cluster of small weird holes, but then on the inside of the holes, there's even smaller holes. I totally get what they were going for. And then the other place that they put them is on the tank tops like under the armpit. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that was the first thing I noticed and I feel kind of bad about it because these sets are actually really cute. I had a couple of requests to share my thoughts on this stuff before it launches. First of all, this stuff's gonna sell out crazy quick, so 
get ready. I feel like you have your active wear that is like high performance, super compressing, sucks everything in, ultra squat proof for your intense workouts. And then you have your days where you're just like, I just wanna be comfy. I don't want anything digging in, pinching. And that is where I believe this line comes in. <laughs> Easy breezy, lightweight summer collection. So they have the sports bras that are coming in all the colors. These are going to be $35. These are honestly so nice. Like what it does for my boobs, like it's so flattering. They have the removable cup pads that have just like the ever so slightest push up. The fabric isn't brushed but it's still very soft and it's like ultra, ultra stretchy. So that's what I mean by it's not gonna dig in. Even the elastic on the bottom, it's very breathable, especially the back. The back is just almost completely all mesh. I wear a small in all the tops. I feel like these fit very true to size. If you're in between and you do like your sports bras to fit a little bit more snug, more compression, you could size down on these. Then we have the leggings and the shorts. The leggings and the shorts are the exact same design except ones short. Leggings are $45 and the shorts are 40. Guys, it's happening. The no front seam trend is taking off. I'm loving it, honestly. <laughs> These ones have a very unique waistband. They're not super duper compressing. Double lined ribbed material. They do have a seam running along at the very top. It's a very flat lying seam though. Both the shorts and the leggings do have pockets. They're not like massively sized pockets. Like I kind of had a hard time getting my phone into them. They have the cute booty scrunch detail. And then that like seam that they've been doing on a lot of their leggings that makes your booty pop too. At the bottom of the legging, they have the little strange hole details. <laughs> and then it has just like a slightly subtle, almost space dye coloring to it that you can kind of see. These biker shorts are an awesome length. And then they did a really nice job sewing the hem of these biker shorts so that they don't dig into your thighs, which is huge for me on biker shorts. The material is a nylon polyester elastane blend. Literally these have gotta be like the stretchiest bottoms I own. Because they are so stretchy, you could definitely go with your smaller size. I easily could have fit into a small in these. I still think that I prefer the medium, specifically in the lighter colors. Just helps ensure a little more that they don't go sheer. So here, here's the squat test of all the colors. <laughs> We've got the version with a bright colored pair of underwear and then I'll have a neutral color thong. But anyway, of course the yellow is going to be the most sheer. I mean, you can like literally see the tag on the side of the legging. Blue, purple, pink, those are all kind of in the middle ground there. But once again, this isn't the type of workout gear that's like super high intensity, you know, wear for leg day kind of stuff. Like I wore it today for my cardio and upper body day and it was absolutely perfect for that. And then your most squat proof, of course, is gonna be this dark gray. I really like this stuff. I feel like it's super cute, really comfy, really good price point and only 40 bucks for these bottoms. The other thing that I really like that's launching are these crop tees. They're, oh my gosh, this fabric. Just like a good barely there top. The hem on the bottom as well as the sleeves is seamless. These are awesome, they're gonna be 30 bucks. This is a small, so you can see that they kind of fit a little bit oversized. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this review was helpful, entertaining. <laughs> well, if you wanna continue hanging out, I picked out some other Hope Scope videos for you over here. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to tap on my little face right over here. That way you don't miss out on any future videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one.